If you are buying an SUV right now or plan to do so but can't decide which one to get, I've got you covered. I think it's better if you pay attention to this list before you make that big purchase. Otherwise, you will be wasting your money on something that might disappoint you or even cause serious trouble. Hello everyone, this is Ted from Carland TV. Hop in the front seat, as today, I will discuss some of the top choices for SUVs in 2024 and 2025. None of these SUVs will lowball you with their performance and quality, so stick until the end and see which appeals to you the most. Before I start, I would really appreciate it if you would push those buttons below, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all of them. I do not require you to do so, but you would make me smile and push me to give you more valuable car-related content on your screen. Now buckle up and let's get back to the video. 2025 Honda CR-V the first one in this list is something that should be obvious. Both the 2024 and 2025 model years of the CRV have been received by the U.S. market properly, clear by their high demands in terms of sales and prospect purchases. This, of course, isn't surprising considering its well appointed interior, handsome exterior, and generous provision of driver assist features. These are not the only things you'll enjoy from the 2025 CRV, though. I'm one of those people who was impressed by its driving verve. It has crisp handling and precise steering, and the way it parks is easy, even in tight spaces thanks to its compact profile. It has uninspiring speed, but it's a total BS if someone accuses it of being boring. The base 190 horsepower turbocharged engine is more than sufficient for cruising city roads and interstate freeways. If this isn't enough, you can opt for its 204 horsepower hybrid version, but the difference in ponies isn't too much, so there's nothing wrong if you'll settle for the CRV. It's a comfortable ride, easy to navigate, and has sufficient fuel economy and cargo space to deserve the practical label. By the way, the 2025 Honda CRV has a starting price of $25,000. 2024 Mazda CX 30. The 2024 Mazda CX-30 isn't an all-rounder, but it's a good choice for those who want an agile and dynamic SUV. It's one of the few subcompact SUVs that made me say, oh, this one is fun to drive, because in reality, it really is. Eventually, I learned that it was derived from the compact Mazda 3, which somehow explained its overall athleticism. Even the likes of Taos and Crosstrek, which are among its closest competitors, can't match the driving of the CX-30. Under the hood of the CX-30 is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine that delivers up to 191 horsepower, which is then mated with a six-speed automatic transmission. There's also an optional 250-horsepower turbocharged unit that optimizes the way the CX-30 accelerates. On the road, the CX-30 moves fluidly, and its crisp steering allows me to pilot precisely on curvy roads. Since it shares the same underpinnings as the CX-3, its interior is far from shabby, and the appointments have an upscale feel. But well, this is something that I have expected since Mazda has been hinting that it wants to appeal to the premium market. Oh, before we go to the next SUV, let me tell you that the 2024 CX-30 starts at $26,000, while its highest Turbo Premium Plus trim sits at $38,000. 2024 Kia Telluride For this year alone, I can confidently say that the 2024 model year of Telluride is at the pinnacle of midsize SUVs. Well, I did not account for the luxury segment in that statement, but the point is there. This one is still arguably better than the Grand Highlander of Toyota and the CX-90 of Mazda. You can contend that the Land Cruiser is better equipped than this, but just take a look at the difference in their prices. The Kia Telluride is about $37,000, while the new Land Cruiser is close to $60,000, so pound per pound the Kia Telluride appeals to more appeal. And this is not to say that the Telluride is a subpar ride. The way it drives is exemplary. The driver's seat is comfortable and upright, allowing its drivers to keep track of its steering. And speaking of it, its steering doesn't require too much attention. It's not among those SUVs that veer off from the intended path. It's not firm, so there's little to no effort to control it. This SUV is also perky thanks to its V6 engine that pulls 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, and based on estimates, this thing can tow up to 5,500 pounds. On the flip side, 
I really wish that it had a standard all-wheel drive. Instead, it only has a front-wheel setup, so it's a bit of a downer. Still, for its price, the Telluride already offers near-luxury styling on its exterior and interior. The cabin in particular can make you wow. Each of the three rows is spacious, which tells that it's designed to cater to families. However, the third row is only meant for children or pets. It's a bit snug there. Behind it is its cargo area, where you can haul up to four carry-on suitcases. In a nutshell, the 2024 Telluride puts justice on the word utility. 2025 Genesis GV70 The 2025 Genesis GV70 is a prime choice for a semi-luxury compact SUV. It's refined and stylish and gives value to its undeniably expensive sticker price. It's an excellent alternative to the likes of the Benz GLC class, BMW X3, and Audi Q5. And if you ask some of its other drivers, the GV70 is definitely a better choice among the bunch. Right from the get-go, the GV70 is aspirated, but not to the point that you can call it a sports car. The base model comes with a 300-horsepower four-cylinder engine, and if you are willing to step up your spending, you can get more zip with its optional twin-turbo V6 engine. This makes 375 horsepower and should give you a thrilling time on the freeways. It blitzes 0 to 60 in just 4.5 to 4.7 seconds, which is downright impressive. The base engine can cover up to 22 miles per gallon in cities and 28 miles per gallon on highways, according to EPA estimates. That's fairly decent for a feisty powertrain. Compared to its larger GV80 cousin, the cocoon of the GV70 isn't that cavernous, but one that ascertains comfort and safety. There's a compromise on its rear seats, though, to give way for a more spacious cargo area, and this one can stash six to seven carry-on suitcases. The interior is clean, far from being clunky and undeniably striking. The materials used on its interior are upscale, while the remaining appointments are simple and accessible but luxurious. 2024 Kia EV9 When you think of electric vehicles, Tesla is the one that immediately comes to mind. But gone are the days when the all-electric platform was just reserved for sedans and small SUVs. These days we have fantastic options for electrified big boys, such as the 2024 Kia EV9. This one is more or less similar in size to the Kia Telluride, so as expected it comes with three rows. This electric midsize SUV has the same platform as the Hyundai Ioniq 7, which by the way is one SUV I'm really excited to check. You can get the electric EV9 in either rear-wheel or all-wheel drive, with the rear wheel being the standard. The electric motor that drives the rear wheels generates up to 215 horsepower. If you get its all-wheel drive model, the SUV will then be equipped with a dual-motor setup that makes up to 379 horsepower. What's so impressive here is that the EV9 comes with a boost mode, and once that activates, the SUV gets a dramatic increase in its acceleration. Meanwhile, the electric driving range of EV9 varies depending on the battery pack used. The smaller battery achieves 230 miles, while the larger one peaks at 304 miles, according to EPA estimates. The 2024 Kia EV9 has a confident driving verve. It features a perfectly tuned chassis that ensures a secure and comfortable ride. 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid The Grand Highlander is already an awesome SUV, but make no mistake. This isn't the best form of the SUV. Its hybrid version is one hell of an upgrade to the midsize SUV, and though it's more expensive at $46,000 in its base form, it gives better value long-term, considering its predicted reliability. All of the good qualities of the Grand Highlander were inherited by its hybrid variant. This time, the gas engine is replaced by two powertrain options. The base model is fuel-efficient, but doesn't let the Highlander sprint on the freeways. It's a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with two electric motors that make up to 245 horsepower. The other optional powertrain is a combo of turbocharged 2.4-liter and electric motor, which guarantees at least 360 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. This more powerful unit lets the Grand Highlander Hybrid hit 60 in less than six seconds. Since we are talking about a hybrid SUV, everyone is expecting its fuel economy. Well, you are up for a treat. The front wheel model of the Grand Highlander Hybrid ensures 37 miles per gallon in cities and 34 miles per gallon on highways. However, these numbers subside substantially 
when you equip an all-wheel drive to its hybrid max powertrain. Still, the trade-off is beautiful, as you get a rugged and functional SUV that can cruise fast and accommodate your daily transport needs. 2025 BMW X5 To keep things simple, you should skip the 2025 X5 or any luxury SUV if you are not willing to burn some cash. The base model of the X5, for instance, already costs about $66,000. But is the steep sticker price justified? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask me, then I'll answer yes. This is a BMW, after all, and it always reflects German standards of automotive engineering. However, there's one notable difference between the 2025 X5 and its predecessor. You see, the car has lost some of its driving verve to make it more pristine, luxurious, and tech-rich. Only three powertrains are available for the X5, and all of them have satisfied me. The base turbo inline 6 yields 375 horsepower, and this one is available on the S-Drive 40i and X-Drive 40i trims. Meanwhile, the X-Drive 50e includes a turbo inline 6 engine and an electric motor that generates heart racing 483 horsepower. The most powerful powertrain is a V8 twin turbo unit that makes 523 ponies and is found on the M60i model which, by the way, costs a staggering $91,000. Again, this SUV isn't for the faint-hearted. I think your best choice here is either the S-Drive 40i or X-Drive 40i. Both of them have the all-wheel drive and feature sedan-like speed and handling. Their interior and exterior are well-appointed. Nothing feels cheap here, as what you can expect from a premium SUV. And that completes our list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely. Drive safely.